Mushrooms are kind of a funny shape, so they can be a little bit daunting to slice. But don't worry because I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that I use and you can adopt these as well and in no time you'll be a pro. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, my name is Dennis and over the past 10 years, I've spent thousands of hours researching nutrition and applying it to my from scratch cooking. Today, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks on how to slice mushrooms. But before we get to that, I'm gonna make sure my mushrooms are clean. You'll notice that as I go through and I'm rinsing these mushrooms of any excess dirt, I'm moving my thumb from the center out to the outside of the mushroom and watch it in reverse and I move from the outside to the inside. It starts to peel the mushroom and break it down. So that's why I'm going from the inside to the outside. Since I got these mushrooms at the grocery store, it's been at least a few days since they were harvested. So this bottom part is starting to get a little bit darker and discolored. I'm just gonna cut that part off if I was working with fresh mushrooms, I wouldn't worry about this. Next, with the top of the mushroom on the cutting board, I'm gonna carefully hold the stem with my fingers here in sort of a claw grip, keeping my knuckles towards the knife. And then I'm just gonna gently start slicing using a lot of back and forth motion and not a lot of downward pressure. If I just go down, then we're likely to split the mushroom. Now, with this knife, it was sharp enough that it didn't happen. This knife is too good. Here I've got a pretty dull knife and you can see if I just press down, then it's kind of tearing the mushroom and it doesn't look nice at all. So I'm using this back and forth motion just to slice through that mushroom. And then now that I got to the stem, I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing over here. Make a few slices. And now I'm going to just very carefully slice right down this stem. I'm going a little bit slower than I have to just to demonstrate. Once you get in practice, this can go a lot faster. And there you go, that's one mushroom. Now, as far as what knife you should use while slicing mushrooms, I personally prefer a chef knife. It's the knife I'm most comfortable with. I use it all the time. And generally when I'm prepping a meal, this is my go-to knife for the whole prep. But a small knife would work just fine as well. Even a serrated knife would be fine as long as it's sharp. That's the important part. And if you wanna upgrade to sharp knives that stay sharp, my go-to brand is Cutco Knives. I'm gonna talk about them in a little bit. And I'll demonstrate one more time. We're gonna start by slicing off that end. Hold the stem with your fingers, keep your knuckles towards the blade. We'll just back and forth slices, light pressure. Flip it onto the other side when you get to the stem. And now we're gonna carefully go down the stem through the mushroom just a couple times. Before we go, I promised I would tell you about sharp knives. So let me bring on advertisement Dennis to tell you about Cutco knives. I've been using Cutco knives for about four years now. And let me tell you, man, are they nice. My real life actual friend, Cutco Dan, was the one who first introduced them to me. And since he did, I have not bought a single other knife brand. Because while most kitchen knives tend to dull after only a few uses, my Cutco knives, can go years without sharpening and still be pretty dang sharp. But wait, there's more. Cutco knives can safely go through the dishwasher without dulling or rusting. That's pretty crazy. At this point, you're probably thinking, dishwasher safe and stays sharp? This can't possibly get any better. Oh yes, it can. Cutco knives actually cost about half of what other professional knife brands sell at, which means that you can be like me and have your own professional quality chef knife for only $153. And that's not just $153 that you spend in hope you like it or hope you don't have to replace it. Because of course Cutco has a money back guarantee so you can try the knife out and see if you like it. But Cutco also has a forever guarantee. Let's say that 20 years from now, you break this knife. Well, Cutco will send you a new one. Okay, let's say 100 years from now, your great great grandchild breaks this knife. Cutco? we'll send them a new one even without a receipt. So if you're ready to upgrade to a Cutco Chef Knife, just use the link in the description to go to Cutco Dan's website and purchase the seven inch Cutco Santoku Chef Knife. Thank you to Cutco for making amazing knives. Thank you to Cutco Dan for making all this possible. And thank you to you guys for checking out Cutco Dan's website. And thank you, Dennis. Well, if you guys got value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for kitchen tools, nutritious cooking, and healthy living. That's about it.